now going to be talking about a recent Andrew Huberman episode where he shills Element by distorting and misrepresenting the current science on sodium consumption. And uh, I think this is incredibly dangerous. It's a terrible thing that he's doing. This is on January 31st. And now we're going to go listen to the clip. We can't listen to the whole thing because we can't fit it all into a three minute video. But we're going to listen to the high, the high points and we're going to critique those high points. Here we go. I'd like to thank the sponsors of today's podcast. Our first sponsor is Element. Element is an electrolyte drink that has everything you need and none of the things you don't. And when we say everything you need, the main one is salt. Now, salt, a.k.a. sodium, has kind of a bad rap. We've all heard that too much salt is bad for us. However, if you look into the research on salt, and in fact, if you go to one of the highest level peer-reviewed scientific publications, Science Magazine, you can find a review article in Science some years ago that shows that most of what we think and understand about the science of salt is completely wrong. And in fact, salt does a number of things that's extremely important. For instance, our neurons, which... It's incredibly important to understand that Huberman cherry-picked this article, which is 25 years old, published in 1998 by now largely discredited science journalist Gary Taubes. He cherry-picked this article before the evidence was available that, that uh, demonstrably showed that salt reduction improved cardiovascular event risk as well as all-cause mortality. And it does so, not just in people with hypertension, but even in people with pre-hypertension. And I'm gonna go talk about a few of those studies now. One is called the effect of potassium enriched salt on cardiovascular mortality and medical expenses of elderly men. It's about 2,000 veterans, and it showed a very strong um, improvement in cardiovascular risk in much, much fewer events over the course of several years, 31 months in um, in veterans, so people who uh, have, have already had most of their cardiovascular disease risk determined by their old age, about 75 years old, they still saw an extremely strong effect of salt reduction on their cardiovascular mortality. Same thing goes with the DASH trials that showed a, re a reduction in, in blood pressure in response to sodium reduction. Same thing goes with uh, a recent study in China that showed in people with hypertension, men with hypertension, a dramatic effect on all-cause mortality and cardiovascular mortality. But when you cherry pick the literature as Huberman did in order to shill for his product instead of actually consulting the medical guidelines and the current consensus on salt intake, yeah, you can come to these bizarre conclusions that allow you to push more product to your listeners. But this is extremely dangerous and frankly, I believe this should be against the law doing what he's doing. Thanks for watching.